ring, uh, the regional, Indiana regional, F, sorry for the, the ringing, I've got steel targets in the back and every time I hit a bump they start bouncing. Anyway, I plan on shooting the regional uh, F-Class match here in about three weeks. So I'm really meticulously making sure that my loads are with the pressures that I want and picking out the exact load that I want to use so I can get plenty of testing in before the match. Um, and one of the things I like to do to really test for overpressure, because the way I load it, the way I work up my hand loads, I usually try to pick a powder that I can work with almost max pressure. So what I do is I'll look at the manual and say max pressure is 34 point or 44.5 grains. I'll usually load some testers at 44 or yeah, 44.0, 43 point a, 44.2. Try to not hit that very top note, but one note below it. And usually you can stay out of pressure trouble that way or most of the time. But every once in a while you still run into trouble. And the time you're going to run into the most trouble with pressure, you'll never get pressure spikes any other time the way you do when you're shooting in the rain. And the reason for that is, is that water is very dense and it does not compress, but very slightly. So even, even if you're doing everything you can to keep all the water out of your chamber, there's still moisture just from being in the rain getting in your chamber. And that's taking up space in your chamber. Well, your chamber's cut to a very specific size so that you can get you know, everything to the right PSI and, and get the bullet out as fast as you can. So if you're running at max pressures and you have anything take up that space, especially water, which doesn't condense hardly at all, you get pressure spikes and really bad pressure spikes. Um, that's where you see a lot of blown primers. So if somebody just goes to a match and matches, they that doesn't matter if, you, if it's raining, you shoot in the rain. So you go to a match and it's raining and you haven't checked your load in the rain, you start blowing primers and you just, your load just goes out the window. So th that's how I test my pressure. And this, so for this video, I'm testing two loads, two powders. And I think I actually mis or mischaracterized them. I said the H40. H4831 shortcut load was a faster burning powder and I was wrong, I said that backwards, it's the slower of the two burning powders and H4350 is the faster burning powder. Um, both of these loads were, te were loaded to the same method, so just a one node under max pressure. Both of them were quarter minute, maybe slightly over, but basically quarter minute loads. I've never tested either of them with this new barrel in the rain. So here you go. This is the result of testing two loads that were right at max in the rain. Check it out. All right. Okay, fouling shot out of the way. Testing in the rain to see if our loads are going to give us any pressure spikes in the worst condition. Time. 
Yep. Oh yeah, heavy bolt lift, all that. Uh-huh, and another top front. So. Act that. Gonna have to turn it way down. And I'll press it. Like that. Oh, now this is a fast burning powder. Now I gotta do some work on my uh, ejector plunger. Okay. That was our slower burning powder. Alright, that looks good. I had a feeling this one was going to be all right. <laughs> hole in hole. All right. boy I think let's check it out okay look at this okay these are two different powders here our fouling shot which was this one same load as the one that was popping primers no problem brass looks good yeah, it's hard to see but no issues then the three after that same load primer popped big ejector swipes you can see that all three of them the exact same way this is h4350 this is 41.1 grains this 43.6 grains barrel was completely heated up so if we were going to get pressure spikes these actually should have the same velocities and i'm getting standard deep with both these loads standard deviation is under seven feet per second so both of them perfectly acceptable for my competition load so it looks like f class this is 4831 43.6 grains as you can see like there's one there in the middle, has a very slight ejector swipe. But other than that, brass looks absolutely perfect. No pop primers. So we're going to keep working with this load, double check everything over the next few weeks before the first competition. Got a regional coming up. We're going to keep working with this. And, uh, Looks like 4831, which was the same powder that I came out with with my with my uh, last barrel with this, and looks like we're going to continue with it. Alrighty.